few things are cool enough to get a kid out of bed at 9.30 on a Sunday morning. But a space capsule landing in the ocean just might be one of them. Splashdown. Watching it was very uh, cool and experiencing and how fast it was going was crazy. NASA's Orion space capsule made a big splash today, bringing its Artemis 1 moon mission to a close and rekindling San Diego's love affair with space. Hey, and what's your name? Uh, Emily. Emily, hi, very nice to meet you, Emily. What was your favorite part of today? Uh, see you land. Very emotional. You know, um, the idea that we're getting back out there again, exploring. Three, two, one, boosters in ignition. Orion had been on a 26 day journey to the moon and back. To test how ready it will be when astronauts board for phase two of the mission, Artemis II, expected in 2024. This view on the deck of the USS Portland. Technicians and engineers and divers, they left the Navy um, ship on a small boats. And in the next few hours, what they're going to do is that they're going to retrieve the capsule. They're going to secure the capsule. And before they do anything, they're going to take some measurements and gather as much data as they can about the thermal properties of the spacecraft. So far, Kamla Kabani, a robotics technologist with NASA, says it appears Artemis 1 was a success. It's the start of a new era uh, in human history. So we are all indeed very lucky to be alive in this time and to witness this. On hand to watch this this morning were dozens of San Diego families, scout troops and space enthusiasts. Space exploration has been like a dream of mine ever since I was a kid. My dad over here, he saw the Apollo 11 mission, the splashdown himself, when he was just five years old. So it's crazy to think that like I'm in his shoes now and seeing like a new generation of space flight. This morning's watch party also included several activities for the kids. We're making history again with seeing our space program opening back up and doing things. I think it's very important for our kids to see that. A historic event that is already playing a role in the next phase of humanity's relationship with the moon. This is the kind of future that I'm like looking to achieve, looking to pursue. Reigniting dreams of space travel among our youth. The next phase of the mission, Artemis II, will send astronauts around the moon and back. That's set to launch in 2024. Artemis III, which will land astronauts on the moon, is expected in 2025. It's been 50 years since astronauts were first on the lunar surface.